What is up, you guys? It is Case One with Road Rash Off Road, and you guys, I am so, so excited about today's video. Why? Because it is that time of the year. Now, if you've spent any time watching the Road Rash videos, you know about the end of February, beginning of March, the Road Rash Jeep goes through a full transformation, going from a winter overlander into a summer beach Jeep. Now, this is something I call summarizing my Jeep. Now, if you're interested to know what all goes into summarizing the Road Rash Jeep, click on this video right up here. I'll post it right up here. Now, last year, I filmed a video series called the Get Naked series. It consisted of two videos. One, if you're a hardtop owner, how to build and install a DIY electric hoist in your garage for under $100 to store your hardtop. Now, that's a really important video, so go back and watch that. I'm going to put that right up here. But the second video I did was reviewing three different options for soft tops. Now, some of these options were okay. Some of them just didn't work at all. But the ones that were okay were very limited in what they were offering. So this summer, I am re-recording that soft top video with a partnership in a new company called Master Top. Now, Master Top sent me their ultimate summer package for the Road Rash Jeep. Now this includes a beautiful bikini top, back window stopper, and a deck cover to protect everything that's in the back of the Jeep. I can't wait to get home, unbox this, and install it on the Road Rash Jeep. Back here at the garage, we're going to open up this box and just see what comes inside. First, what you'll notice is you get this beautiful three-layer twill, black twill, safari bikini top here. Then in this second box here is where you will get your deck cover and your wind stopper. And then finally, you'll get some installation instructions as well as the strap downs you need to install this. Now the first thing they always say that you should do is lay this out in the sunlight and let this thing warm up so it gets really soft and that way it's easier to install. So we're going to lay it out here in the driveway while I back this Jeep in and we take this hard top off. So while I lay these pieces out, I want to tell you a little bit about Master Top themselves and the superior quality that they develop. Now, they're based out of Golden, Colorado, right here in the United States, where the staff and the owners are all avid Jeepers themselves. They love the Jeep community. Therefore, they build superior quality products that they want to use themselves. They were created in 2016 with the goal of creating a fine quality product at an affordable price. Now that we've got these pieces laid out in the sun, they're going to get nice and warm and soft. We're going to go ahead and turn the Jeep around, remove this hard top, and then get ready to install the soft top. All right, let's get this top removed. If you've ever seen my first video from my Get Naked series, it was about how I built this DIY electric hoist for under $100. You should go back and watch that video. I'll pin it right up here. This is a great option for you to hoist and store your hardtop for the summer. Let's get this thing removed. Take your hex, remove the hard top hex bolts. 
And once you have the bolts removed, make sure you have all of your connections to the top and the tub of the Jeep disconnected. Then you're going to run your tow strap here on the inside of this hydraulic from the back window. Run it on the inside next to the window of your roll cage all the way up to the rear door. You're going to reach in here and grab this. You're going to then pull it up and hook it onto your D-ring. Then we'll go do the other side. There you go. And then once you have, make sure that everything is disconnected from the top to the tub. You can grab your switch, slowly, and then go up with it. There you go. And now your top is up and out of the way and stored for the summer. Let's pull this thing out. We're going to clean it up a little bit. It's really dusty. Then we'll be able to put that soft top on. So while it's not suggested, you can actually install this master top to the Jeep without the door surrounds. It is highly recommended that you do use the factory or aftermarket door surrounds because if you install it without the door surrounds, this bikini top is actually going to fall in between the door with the door surrounds. It's going to pull that bikini top outside the door, eliminating any water being able to get inside of the Jeep. So I have the door surrounds and I'm going to put those on first. So now we're going to start with our wind stopper and our tonneau cover. And we're going to start with just the two middle straps here on the other side of the logos here. And we're going to start and just wrap those around our roll cage loosely. We're going to do all four straps just to hold the top up we're not tightening them down just yet just kind of holding everything in place there we go now we can take our sides and we'll fasten our sides to our door surrounds Make sure your seat belt is going, there's a little slit right here, make sure it goes in that little slit. Now this makes a little L, this little L falls right inside of that door surround, fits nice and snug. So here we have a couple of straps. We've got two buckles on the outside of this, two straps on the inside. These are going to wrap around and buckle here, wrap around and buckle here. That's going to hold this really nice and tight. And then here we've got a third one. Now this is going to wrap around in itself and buckle itself to pull this in here.
Now again, we're not going to pull it all too tight just now. We're just going to snug it all down and then we will go back and tighten everything down once everything is in place. Now that we have all four straps and then our roll cage straps strapped down, we can go ahead and start tightening everything down, see if we can pull this up a little bit tighter. We're going to start here in the middle with these four straps. And we're just going to work our way around. Making sure that our straps are nice and tight. Good. Then we'll go to our sides here. Everything's tucking in very nicely. Then we'll move to these next two straps and then finally our two over here. Now make sure your seat belts are not obstructed. Our nice wind stopper. That's going to be nice for the summer. Now that we have our wind stopper in place, the deck cover should fall right in place. You've got these great Velcro straps that just strap right around our roll cage here. And this is why you want to lay it out in the sun because this is going to fit really, really tight and really snug. So you want to make sure that it's going to have a little bit of stretch when we start to install this. So you've got this plastic groove here. It's going to go right in this little lip on the bottom of the tub. Just stick it in there and start to push in. And you can feel it just snap into place. We'll come back and Velcro this down when we're done. We're going to get this laid out. Wrap it around the A-pillar here. You got this curved piece here that fits right around the corner. Beautiful. Now you'll notice right here at this connecting point there's some Velcro. We're not going to attach this yet. We're going to wait and attach the other side first. So as you'll notice the first side went in pretty easy. This is the side. It's going to take a little bit of elbow grease. So you just want to put it under there and then a little bit of force and it'll pop in. Same thing here. Take our corner, start in the corner. A little bit of pressure, pop it in, and there we go. We've got our deck cover here, nice and tight. We can come back, put our Velcro pieces on, make sure everything is Velcroed down. We'll pull, you can have a little strap here. You can pull it up a little bit if you need to meet with this Velcro. Just like that. Take this Velcro here, match it to here, and you should get a really nice, tight fit here. If you need a little bit more room, you've got room to stretch and pull to match this up just perfectly.
Great job. Now before I fasten the other side, one thing that this top does not come with is the added piece here for structure on the back end of our tonneau top. So I happen to have one from a previous top that I own and it's very simple how this slides in. You're going to take these little clips and these just snap right in just like that and then just here underside of the tonneau cover you'll see this round tubing here. Now this round tubing fits right inside of this channel so it slides right in and then that will give this back piece structure. And then once you have that slid in, this bumps right up to those plastic pieces and then you twist. There you go. Now we'll snap down the edges, put our Velcro on. We'll be ready to move on to the bikini top. So for me, since I had a hard top, right here behind the seat belt, there's a little Velcro strap that is inside that when you open that up, it shows the inside of the roll cage. So in here, if you feel there's a little hole right here, we're gonna take that Torx 30 and we are going to bolt that strap right there onto that hole. That is gonna hold our Safari bikini top on at the top. So here's that little screw right there. They supply this great strap with a Torx 30 we're just going to stick that through the little grommet hole, stick that into our hole here. And screw that down. We now have an attachment point for our Safari bikini top from the back. Just pull this out, put the Velcro strap back down. There we go. Let's do the other side. So now we're going to roll our bikini top back just a little bit so that we can see our middle strap part here. And we're going to take the two included webbings and we're going to feed them through here and get them ready so that we can feed those inside of the Jeep. So we're going to start by rolling up the top from the back first and laying it across the front of the Jeep. This is now going to allow us to line up the header with our fitment loops here and be able to roll back this all the way to the back of the Jeep. Now, also included in the package is a little footman loop. Now we're just going to get that started just to hold it in place. We're not going to tighten anything down just yet. And once we have this in place, we can just unroll it to the back. And now we can work on the next part. And once you have this back here, you're going to take your webbing straps from around the back of the A-pillar. And you're going to take your hook and hook it inside of the hole. And you can kind of snug it down with that strap. Do that for both sides. Just like the rest of it, we'll come back and tighten everything down once we have it all in place. So the unique thing about the Master Top Twill Safari Top is it has a tension bar right here, a tension spring. So if you grab this tension spring, 
kind of pull it out just a little bit. Master Top included this webbing strap here. Hook this on your tension string. And then now, as you pull this back, your initial webbing that you added to the A pillar will come up and then this will be where you tighten up the tension on your master top. So like everything else, we're just going to strap it down lightly. We're not going to tighten anything down just yet. We're going to go back and tighten everything down once we have it in place. And then now there's another strap on the back side of the bikini top. We're going to take this and we're going to pull it around the bottom of the A pillar here, bring it up here and loop it into our top. There we go. Now we can start to tighten everything down and get it all snug into place. I'm going to tighten down our inside straps, making sure everything is nice and tight. And then now we can tighten down, we can tighten down our header bar. Here we go. And that's it. The installation of the new summer collection Safari Top Wind Stopper and Deck Cover. Let's go for a ride, see what it sounds like. So riding around with the master top safari top on. There's really no difference in sound versus what my hard top was, or even an average soft top. There's no flapping, everything seems to be strapped down really tight on the Jeep, so there's no movement, there's no flapping, there's no anything. So, um, and it seems the back window is really clear. It almost looks like I'm looking out of an actual back window and not a plastic back window. It's very clear back there. I am loving this new Master Top Summer Collection. You guys, the install of this Master Top Safari Top and Summer Package was so easy. It was such an easy DIY project to do and it looks fantastic on the Jeep. It took a little bit of time just because you're working in three completely different parts. The safari top, the wind stopper, and tonneau cover. When it's all tightened down properly, it is awesome. There's no wind noise coming in on the inside. And what I love most about this setup is just how flexible and convertible it can be. You could run it in several different ways. I love the fast back truck look that it gives. It doesn't lose too much room on the inside. So even with the seat in its sitting position, you still have an awful lot of room behind it. It does not obstruct anything in the back seat. Now, when I talk about being flexible, I love being able to have this zipper on this window right here. And just on those cool days, now you've got air flowing all the way through. Now another great thing to being so convertible is on those beautiful days when the sun is just blazing and you want that instant sun, all you have to do is unscrew this header bar here and then you can roll it back and strap it to your A pillar and then now you have instant sun. Or you can roll it all the way off and take the bikini top off, leaving just the back and the back deck. This is going to be such a useful, 
awesome top for this summer. So I want to say a huge thank you to Master Top for sending me this beautiful summer collection for my Jeep JK. This thing is amazing. The quality is outstanding. I back this company 100%. Plus, they have a three-year warranty on a lot of their products. So, you guys, make sure you go to Master Top. Take a look at the products they have. Whatever you need within the soft top business, they've got it. Like and subscribe to this channel. We've got a lot of content coming up. We love you guys. See you in the next video.